Polls are closed and the results are in. Today, just over 18% of Bay County voters, or about 24,000 people, went to the polls to cast ballots in three cities and for a voice in whether or not they wanted to pass a one mill property tax for Bay District schools. And that's where we begin. The referendum was debated for weeks, but in the end, voters overwhelmingly said no. They did not want to give the school system more tax dollars. News 13's Madeline Bierster is live in our studios now to tell us more about the race. Maddie, the vote was almost 75% no. That's right, Amy. This was not a close debate for nearly seven weeks. Many community members have been against the tax, saying that Bay District leaders need to tighten up the budget internally before asking for taxpayers more funding. In the end, the public's vote was against the referendum. We went and spoke to both sides of the issue. School Board Vice Chairman Pam Chapman supported the tax increase, while the founder of Bay County Taxpayers, Dr. John Ward, spearheaded the campaign against the referendum. Both reacted to tonight's election result. I am just so excited that my message resonated with Bay County taxpayers. Um, that was really what we were trying to do. Bay County should be a low tax county. Uh, we should request accountability, especially given all that's occurred in the last you know, couple of years with local officials. The teachers and the paraprofessionals and the bus drivers and all of our employees are the ones that I feel you know, the most disappointed for right now because they work so hard and I, you know, I go out to the schools and I see what they do and I really um, would have liked to give them an extra boost. And I just think that it just got a little confusing with this issue. From here, Chapman says the district will look to the state to get the additional funds for salary raises. Thank you, Maddie.